Welcome to Mari Moore's Spanish Table. It's been too long. I think we should try these shows every week. Yeah, okay. It's so much yes, fun. Dear. Yes, dear. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're making a recipe today that... This is quintessential, like, beautiful summertime dish. Um, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. What is it? But, but wait, oh. who chose it? Oh, I chose it. Uh -huh. I chose it. And mom approved it. Oh my gosh. She, she was like, but I haven't done this dish in at least 30 years. Um, no, no, no. Lots of reasons. I said, but this is perfect for summertime. So, <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, this is a recipe from a restaurant in Madrid that I went to in 1984, according oh to my book. And Before so, this one was in your life. Oh yeah, wait, well, four years before, you're right, you're right, oh boy, 34 years. <laughs> Your life had no meaning before. Me. Exactly, that's true. I mean, all I did was eat melon soup, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so yeah, and it, it, it was run by two brothers, and, um, mm. and you know, and I've never made it. And I don't know why, because it's really good. Mm. We've had it a couple of times, right? So yeah. You decided. So anyway, it's going to be a um, uh, melon, right? Okay, we'll start with the melon. So essentially you take... Um, so wait, I'm going to repeat the title of the, the recipe. Look for the link to the recipe and the wine pairing. It is paired with our beautiful rosé. Um, that info is in the content of the post. And um, so this recipe is cold melon soup with port, cream, and mint. Mm -hmm. mm, yum, yum. All right. And so, so essentially what you want is a couple of cantaloupes for about eight people. And um, so you cut them in, in, in half and then you peel them, which I've done before because, you know, it's kind of a little gruesome. And then you take the, uh, it's very easy if you do it with a spoon, take the seeds out. And then the fun part starts already with um, getting the uh, melon balls. So you, have, you get a little um, melon baller, right, like that. And we, you know... Small again, ah, we'll take them small. And what you want to do with it for a melon ball is go really deep so that the melon ball will be round. And if you're lucky, it comes out like that, okay? So then I have uh, a few already. So we're gonna put this one here and this one here. And essentially you want six, I don't know, my math is not so good, but you want three per person, three times eight, 24, divided into two melons, divided into two, 24 into 4 is? 6. 6. So you want 6 melon balls out of each um, uh, half melon. Okay? I have to say these little melon balls are so darn cute. Yes, they <laughs> are. And we have the knife. So essentially, and then you cut it very simply. Oh, oh that's not my mouth. I'm not going to do this. And Mom's knives, by the way, this kitchen is a dream to cook in. That won't be a surprise to you. And Mom's knives are always sharpened. Yeah. It's, a it's so important. It's true. Yeah. So essentially you go like that, and like this, and like this, and then the other way. And, and that's about it. I mean, you can cut them a little more, but, you know. Ah, and then uh, fall, so Bonnie. I can eat it. No. Oh. <laughs> for Chico. Hi, Chico. Yay. You want to make an appearance? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Chico. Chico says hi, and oh, he yeah. appreciates and he, the melon that you dropped, Mom. And he is very pleased. <laughs> he's, he's like, he's trying to eat it, and I think he's a little confused. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, okay, I'll be Whatever they give me. They're so hungry, always, these dogs. Well, they haven't had dinner yet. Uh, yes, they have. No, they have. You think I would let them, you know? Mom is always super well. Yeah, oh. It's true. Okay, so now we put, add them to the bowl with the okay. rest of the melon. Thank you so much. Oh, Bonnie's Oops. coming. She doesn't want to be left out. Oh. Oopsie. Bonnie, you want to say hi? And um, so we put them with a little water. Bonnie. Into this lovely uh, Bonnie. pot. Bonnie's not interested. With some water? Why with water? Because that's what the chef told me. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That sounds reasonable. And uh, and then we will. Uh, the, and then it will. Once it boils, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, melt. It, this is a, a, a the pork, right? It's as we said, it's with pork. And so we put some cornstarch there, so it gets a little more thick. 
this. Oh my gosh, mom. I didn't even pour us a glass of wine. <gasps> Whoa, oh. excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hold, hold your thought, hold your horses. Let's have a glass of our 2020 Rosaleda Rosé. Yeah, this is so good. I'm so glad we're opening that. Yum. Mm -hmm. I'd and say it I'd say it is just about time. And it went so well with the, with mm -hmm. the soup. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. And let us know that you've tuned in. Say hello. Say where you're tuning in from. Mm -hmm. um, it's always good to have, have our friends with us. Oh, yes. And, uh, you know, with this wine, the first thing you think of is strawberries. Mm. Mm. Okay, so it's time to talk about the wine? Yes, ma'am. Okay, did you add the salt? Uh, not yet. Oh, yeah. It says add salt and then salt. Are you sure? I thought it was the opposite. Okay, okay, fine. I'll add the salt. Okay. Whatever you say. No, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I should not be telling mom <laughs> what to do, <laughs> how to cook. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, yeah, mom's territory. Sorry about that. The salt comes after. So why are you, why do you leave it 15 minutes? What's the idea? So that the melon kind of um, cooks and, um, and, and, and softens up. Softens up so yeah. that it, so that you can. Yeah. Puree it or uh, yes, puree. Uh, strain it. Yes, got strain it. it. First, first you puree it here. Got it. And then you strain it. Got yeah. it, got it. Oh, David Clardy has joined. Oh, hi, so David. good to have you from North Dakota. Mm -hmm. So good to see you. And okay, so our 2020 Rosaleda Rose. This is a rose of Pinot Noir from our Sonoma Coast vineyard, the Doña Margarita vineyard in Freestone. And this is, Rosaleda means rose garden in Spanish, mm -hmm. which is a beautiful name. And in fact, it was a name um, chosen, or well, uh, submitted during like a competition that we had by, um, by a customer, by a club member. Mm -hmm. And this wine, so it is made by, um, we call direct pressing. So there are like three main ways of making rose. One, which is pretty much for like the not good stuff, not the stuff that you guys are drinking, like mixing red and white wine. That's like, you won't see that in a good rosé, no. except for champagne rosé. Believe it or not, is made by making um, a, adding a bit of red wine. Um, and then let's see, what else? Um, okay, so, and it is also not made by, the second method is called saigné, um, which is basically like pressing the lighter, uh, colored the the um the yeah the like early press fractions of of the juice of the must of a red wine in order to have the remaining wine be more concentrated but so, that's not an option for us because we make this wine from start to finish mm -hmm. in order to be a rosé it's not a byproduct you know some people for pinot noir you know in the, in the places like in spain mostly where they don't have really the Real, I mean, the, a grape, Pinot Noir grape. What they do is that they got that saigné, which means you know you take the the, the bleeding off. Bleeding, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you bleed it off, and then you get more concentration of red uh, stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And then with that, you make a rosé. Yeah, no, that's not for us. That's not for us. Yep. And let's see. Okay. Um, okay. So this is not made by um, by saigné. It is made by direct pressing. So with this really um, beautiful light. Um, almost like a, a salmon color that means that it spends a very brief period of time on the skins so for this wine it was about one press cycle which is less than 12 hours so the the short time on the skins and seeds because it is a red grape means that less color and tannin is extracted and in fact only a very small amount of color and tannin. so much well, and, and also, we want to say these grapes come from our Sonoma Coast vineyard, yes. Doña Margarita, which is top, which is, super duper pinot noir. It's really ideal for rosé, especially because um, it's the, even cooler than this vineyard. Right, <laughs> because the grapes are very, very expensive. And it's as expensive to make this wine as it is to make a bottle of the red pinot noir. Oh, imagine yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a barrel expense for the red pinot noir. But. Okay, fine. 
<laughs> so yeah, I'd say honestly, this rosé hits the spot. Uh, summertime, um, sipping by the pool, grilling, um, getting some, having some friends over, and with this soup, we shall see, we shall see. Yeah. So, so this now we're gonna say it spent fifteen minutes. Okay. Uh, cooking. Okay. Just like that. Exactly. Just like magic. And let us know if you have any questions or um, about making substitutions. I guess this one, mm, we're probably not going to substitute too much. Um, you know, it would also be good with, uh, with our uh, blood and wine. Oh, yes, that's yes, true. Yes, it would be great. That's with a that. good point. With, with a sparkling, sparkling, a dry yeah. sparkling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even better, uh, mm -hmm. So you see, that's what it's like. So essentially, it cooks. You know, just to, to soften up the melon, mm -hmm. right? And then, mm, it smells good. good. And it's, wow. uh, when it's done, and then we will put it in here. You want me to do it? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. 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 Yeah. Here. yeah, no, here first, because we have to. Um, really? Oh, okay. Well, we must do it actually. Uh, well, we'll just show it, right? Yeah, one of which is over here. That's it. That's the best idea. And then we will. Um, um, so you can see it like that. So, so melon, or sorry, melon, is it's really a summertime classic in Spain, um, ah, yes, right? Yes, I mean, yes. in what, like, how did you enjoy it when you were living in Spain? Like, is is this soup, is this something like a melon soup? Is that something that you find in Spain? Not very. No, that's why I like this recipe because it was so unusual. And I've never had it in this country either. I think it's so, a bit like international. I'm not sure the roots. Well, but anyway, it's uh, it, I mean, we have melon for for dessert. We have melon for a first course. You know, melon with ham, of course, with a beautiful serrano ham. Don't let them give you prosciutto. Uh -huh. uh, it uh, would be great, great. Uh, yeah, as a first course, like yeah. the melon with some jamon, kind of like draped over. Yeah, it's yeah. so good. That and also, sweet and savory is so good. And melon with pork also. We used to have that. Oh, mm -hmm. how so? Yeah, you just, I don't know. Like pour it? Yeah, I've got vague memory, but it was okay. in a little bowl, and, you know, like a soup bowl, and you would put the melon balls and, 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 the, mm. and then pour it. Like it was that. really good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so, okay so we'll, we'll pretend I'm going to um, liquefy this over there because it makes a lot of noise. Okay. And we will, maybe we'll pretend. And in the meantime, let's see, what else? Oh, so... Um, I will say that, um, well, mom will show the garnishes, um, which makes for... Um, yeah, the presentation on this dish is really nice too. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think you can play around with the garnish a bit. Um, I think that melon is just super refreshing and, um, Lovely. And like cools you down in the summertime. Oh, yes. Let us know what you've been um, what you've been enjoying cooking this summer, um, and what if you're enjoy if you're planning to cook anything in particular this weekend. Ooh, do I hit this? Okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, so then we pretend. Okay, I'll have it. I'll have it. Uh, it's very good. It's candle, by the way. So then what you do once this is liquefied, it pretends to liquefied. And then you um, essentially uh, pass it through a, um, a medium sea. And, uh, and you know, I've been thinking, and, and kind of go blah, 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 like that. And then you end up with the metal soup here. And up here, you end up with this. Okay. Huh. Which like frankly, a paste. Yeah, and it's very good. What about on a cracker with cheese? Mm, let's try it. We could yeah, make it into really like a, a melon paste to okay. have with cheeses. Mm -hmm. We could try it. That could be Absolutely. fun. And actually, we will report back. Yes. So I don't know if you want to not do this. I think that it, it's a possibility. I should have tried it too. Okay. So then this is the melon soup, right? Okay. Beautiful. Makes sense. And then, exactly. Thank you very much. So then we add that here in this bowl. We put it on this. Oh, look. Can you see me? So here we have oh, the melon juice that has been that has been um, uh, passed through the colander, and now we will put, and then we, we will let it cook, 
Okay, so let's. Uh, this is just completely. Oh, because it has to be quite chilled in yeah. order to avoid the cream curling. Exactly. Ah. Oh, I know that from baking. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite thing. So then we add the cream and some more pork. Mm. And we mix it up. And, and the cream is an interesting addition here. I feel like um, oh, yeah. I feel like a lot of melon soups don't necessarily have cream. Have you had melon soup? I've never. Yeah, really. Yeah. And some more pork. And by the way, you know this soup is gonna be um uh, what's the word um exponentially more good the better the pork you use, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and so we've um, we got it. What port did you use? No, you're not. You're gonna uh -oh. scold me. No, you're oh, did you open it. up a vintage port? No. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Mom yeah. made. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Mom just puts like, like a nineteen, you know, a twenty, thirty year old vintage port uh, yeah, in the melon soup. I guess. Okay. I brought them from Spain because. Yeah, but they're to. They're to drink mm. on its own. But we never do, and I have quite a few in Spain, so I brought them over in my suitcase, and then I thought, This no, literally no, happened a few part. weeks ago, yeah. and I was, like, shocked and um, and uh, and said that perhaps next time not to use vintage port, okay. and next time she sure did use vintage port. Okay. Shut up and drink. <laughs> you can have it. I'm too upset. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the vintage... But it's going to be better, right? I mean, what does it matter if you drink it from a cup or yeah. from a glass or you drink it from a soup? It's the same okay. thing, right? All right? Okay? Come on, taste it. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Mmm, yum. Mmm, yum. Very good. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's try it with the rosé. Okay. Yes. That means I get a little more rosé? Yeah. Okay. But we have to. Okay. So what about showing the garnish as well? Yes. So now we're going to put in a bowl, a lovely bowl right here, here. And so first we're going to put some shrimp. Now that's not in the recipe. Well, actually, it's in the recipe, but it's not in the title. At the bottom. So yeah. So we I put the, the, the shrimp in the bottom. These are the bay shrimp, which are so cute. They come. Okay. And, okay. Um, and there you go. And then we put the soup. Uh, where am I? My here, we can just serve it like this. Okay, good. Okay, what yeah. other garnishes? And instead of the shrimp, would, instead of the shrimp, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, please, hold on. All right. Um, all right, clean. <laughs> okay. Why don't we talk about the garnishes? Yes. Okay, so, then, so instead of the shrimp, is it possible to use, like, jamon? Oh, sure, that would be a good idea, right? I think so. And then, and then you essentially put the three melon balls, which are going to be showing beautifully, in the soup. And then you put two lovely um, leaves of mint that I picked a while ago from our garden. And you kind of put it like that and like this. And there you go. Oops, okay. okay. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's see with the rosé. Okay. Put it mm. here. It should be a little more cold, but just take a little bit. Oh, that's very nice. Mmm. There is that that's sweetness so cool. from mm -hmm. the soup um, and the nice fruit on mm -hmm. the rosé. It really... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's beautiful. Yum. Thank you, Mom. Well, next time yeah. we will be um, not the first Friday of September because that is Labor Day weekend. We will do the second Friday. So that is September 10th. And um, let us know if you have any requests on dishes. We haven't quite picked one yet. Mm -hmm. So let us know what some uh, fun September cooking uh, would look like to you. And yeah, we can't wait to see you um, then on September 10th. Right, and now I'm going to eat this because it's mm. super. Cheers. Super have a good weekend. Little, little ball and a little, um, let's see. Um, all right. Mm. See you soon. Thanks. Cheers. Oh, really good.